first thank you for your love and your support i highly appreciate it can't express it enough real talk real shit so anyways y'all before i start this video let me just start off by saying thank everybody for showing mad love and support you know i really appreciate it you know what i mean it's always good to thank everybody for always supporting you you know what i'm saying and motivating you and if you are new to my channel please understand that i recommend you watch this video with somebody else if it's your first time watching it and also understand this is my opinion based off my research I highly recommend everybody to do their own research. I just want to make sure I throw that out there. Um, and for all the people that already been subscribed to my page, know as the weeks go on, the next two weeks, all of my videos should be back on there. None of my videos are deleted. They were all privated. You know, like I said, I will be dropping a video soon explaining that. So y'all guys, I know everything that happened, what's going on. And then also for other people as well, other truthers and people making YouTube videos, y'all can learn from what happened to me because they can same thing can happen to y'all so it's always good to know what happened you know so you don't keep nobody in the dark so anyways before i start this video man give i'm like to give a shout out to call me ken fuck man shout out to him man and if y'all haven't already man go check out his channel man great great dope content and great lives too okay so um luckily he caught this on instagram before dc young fly deleted it okay he basically said gotta stay grinding which means sacrificing and discipline what are y'all willing to do or stop so you can be comfortable for a lifetime okay now the funny thing about this is why would he go on to say something like that right and and you know when they put it out there right he deleted it so what's the point of him deleting it you know what i'm saying like why would you write something like that and what's the point of him deleting it okay so it's good. Call me Ken Folk caught that because by the time I was made light into the situation, when I did go on IG and I looked for it, I couldn't find it. So I'm under the impression that he did delete it. But this right here, it just shows you. all Right. And personally, I believe, again, this these type of stuff is to leave innocent people to mislead innocent people, because we're talking about D.C. Young Fly sacrificing allegedly his wife right but you cannot sacrifice something that don't even exist right all they did was take her character off the world stage and this is exactly what they're doing um y'all this is exactly what they're doing to get to our emotions right because we go out there we bust our nine of fives you know we work real hard get threatened when we don't do certain things right like vaccines and stuff like that then a celebrity die and next thing you know, you guys are donating to GoFundMe and posting how much you donate and a couple of days later behind on your bills, you know what I'm saying, and et cetera. But people like to be lied to, y'all. I'm learning that because the truth is just not interested for uh, people, but lies are very interesting for people. OK, people like to be lied to. OK, literally, these people are performing rituals. Make no mistakes about it. So the people that's wearing these masks, they are performing rituals. You know what I'm saying? They are doing that. They are taking advantage of us. OK, this is where we need to wake up at. People are feeling so bad and so sad for DC Youngfly. But this is not even a real person. This is a character they created for the world stage. That's exactly what this is. They created this character for the world stage. Everybody needs to wake up and start questioning things. Look at Joe Biden, y'all president, y'all went out there and rushed and voted for. It. Why is his ears keep changing? Right. It's OK. You get old, your ear get lower and et cetera. But the shape of your ear. And the eyes are completely different. It should let you know that, hey, it's somebody behind that mask. And if they go into the extinct to do that right because if, if biden really passed away right why not just tell the world hey biden passed away you know we're going to have the vice president kamala step up etc 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 you know what i'm saying because they don't want that happening okay they remember trump indictment is only to confuse us and so is this information right here you see what i'm saying ain't nobody in their right mind y'all gotta ask y'all stuff right when your loved ones pass away you know what i'm saying lord forbid but especially like a wife a husband right who in their right mind want to be on social media, like writing this type of stuff, right? You should be, you should be trying to figure out 
what's your schedule look like with your kids? You know what I mean? Do you have a babysitter in order? You need time to heal. Why are you posting so much for somebody that just lost allegedly so much? That just don't make no sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? That should let y'all know they're nothing like us. They're laughing behind the scenes over this. Okay. They're getting kicks out of this. With that said, man, much love and respect to everybody. Again, everybody wake up, man. Do your own research. You know, just promise, man, y'all do your own research. Y'all find so much information that will better y'all, you know, but only do your research if you're not afraid. Because if you are afraid, don't do your research. Because the minute you found out that maybe 75% of your life or more have been lies and fairy tales, you know, it's going to change the way you think and change the way you live. You know, and that's going to be a hard pill to swallow when when everybody else is doing everything like a robot and you're doing things different, you're going to feel different. In order to feel normal, you feel like you have to do the things that the robots and other people are doing. So much love, respect to everybody. May y'all have a good day.